compromised, unleashing zero-click worms that target Gen AI-powered applications. The widespread adoption of Gen AI in both established and emerging products has given rise to Gen AI ecosystems. Gen AI ecosystems are interconnected networks consisting of Gen AI powered clients that interface with Gen AI services to process the data and communicate with other Gen AI powered clients in the ecosystem. Ongoing research already highlighted risks associated with the Gen AI component, including dialogue poisoning privacy leakage, and jailbreaking. However, much less is known about the risks associated with Gen AI ecosystems. In this study, we introduce Morris II, the first worm designed to target Gen AI ecosystems through the use of adversarial self-replicating prompts. While a regular prompt is code that triggers the Gen AI model to output data, an adversarial self-replicating prompt is a prompt that triggers the Gen AI model to output a prompt. We show how attackers can create and encode adversarial self-replicating prompts into inputs such as images and text. When such inputs are processed by Gen AI services, they trigger the Gen AI model to output the input prompt, so it will be replicated in the next inference as well. In addition, these prompts trigger the Gen AI to perform malicious activity and create an output capable of exploiting the ecosystem interconnectivity to infect new hosts. One class of vulnerable applications uses RAG to enrich their Gen AI queries with context and update their database with the recipient of new content. In one demonstration, we applied Morris II as a RAG-based Gen AI worm that targets the auto-response generation functionality of Gen AI-powered email assistants. We show how attackers can create an email with a textual adversarial self-replicating prompt which poisons the database of a RAG-based email assistant. When the email is retrieved by the RAG, added to the query, and sent to ChatGPT4 or Gemini Pro, it jailbreaks the Gen AI service, forcing it to replicate the input to the output and exfiltrate sensitive user data provided in the query. The generated response containing the sensitive user data later infects new hosts when it is used to reply to an email sent to a new client and then stored in the database of the new client. Another class of vulnerable applications uses the Gen AI services output to determine the subsequent task. In a second demonstration, we apply Morris II as an application flow steering Gen AI worm that targets the code used to handle the output from the Gen AI service. We show how attackers can create an email with a textual adversarial self-replicating prompt embedded into an image which steers the flow of an email assistant into forwarding the image to new clients. By encoding the self-replicating prompt into the image, any kind of image containing spam, abuse material, or even propaganda can be forwarded further to new clients after the initial email has been sent. Visit our site for more information.